Extra time. Thank you very much uh, for all your questions. Welcome back, Steve Nickel. You seem you. Yeah. I've never what how much I've done about what five days? Probably about eight mile a day. Right. Wow. Forty mile. Fantastic. That's a lot of miles, Stephen. So it's taking me it's taking me till the day to recover. My legs were gone, my there knees had my knees had just tightened up. Lovely, what are My groins were killing me. Lovely Both thoughts as well, yeah. My Fantastic, back. Yeah. Didn't, didn't need up, but nice. didn't need to know that. Hey, what a mess. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your favourite ride? Well, in fact, we know your favourite ride at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> the water slide. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen somebody. I've never seen somebody make such hard work of a water slide. Yeah. Oh, he loved this thing. It was very hey! <laughs> Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses gone? I'll tell you what, I panicked. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, a lot of people are questioning why you needed to wear your hat on the uh, on the slide. I really don't want to answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Uh, and there was not a concern that given that you've just bought your brand new pair of glasses, which you've already complained cost a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, well, when I went in the water, when I felt the hat coming, it was a Darth Vader hat, by the way. Oh, oh right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not, not any normal hat. No. <laughs> but I, I felt something falling off. Right. And I panicked because I thought it was in the glasses. Yes. And all I thought was five on a box. I've just paid for these. Yeah. Yeah. But it was all right in the end. And it was all right in the end. Lovely. Hi. People are wondering why there was no one else in the swimming pool. <laughs> Well, would you go in the pool with somebody looking like me? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't be either. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and, and, of course, you met some fans of the show. Uh, around, did, yes. Around, yes. Yeah. This person tweeted in saying, Dan wanted to say it was a pleasure meeting Stevie at Disney World. My question is, will the impending return of Thiago Alcantara sway the title odds in Liverpool's favour? Uh, I'm more interested in the picture that he took with you, because, again, for a man who works with cameras quite a lot, <laughs> Can't find the cat. Where are you looking? He's looking for the pool. Like, where's the pool? And there's, uh, if we just have a look at the attire, it looks like you're about to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I only brought one jumper with me. And is that a fanny pack? It is. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, magnificent. Well, I'd rather look daft with a fanny pack than lose me phone right. on me pass. Yes. On me entrance passes. Not very practical. So, non practical about it. It was a sensible thing to do. Yeah, exactly. I don't care what it looked like. All right. Well, clearly, the old, <laughs> yeah. the old outfit wasn't you, exactly. You nailed that part. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Don? You all right, mate? Uh, oh, I'm good. I mean, someone's got to make a program or something with Stevie and Disney. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I think a Stevie reality show would be Disney brilliant. Plus. Okay. Nichols on Disney. Uh, right, uh, let's talk about some soccer. Um, who is a teammate of yours who was great for your era, but whose game would not translate to today? Conversely, who would thrive now that maybe didn't do so much back then? Anyone ring a bell, Stevie? <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't suppose a lot of viewers will remember this guy. Okay. He was a goalkeeper. His name was Steve O'Grizzard. Oh, right, yeah. okay, yes. yes. The big Augie yep. was 6'4. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna guess and say he was probably about 16 or 17 stone. Okay, yeah. we have to put that in pounds. That's maybe. about 235. 235, thank you. 17 really stone is 238 right. to be exact. Well, yeah. thank you, Shag. Well, I just Beautiful. Wrong. And so the fact that you would have to play the ball out with your feet, unfortunately, no, game over. you couldn't do that. Right. Uh, anyone spring to mind, Don, for you? No, I'm just thinking of the sort of hard men back in the day. Right. The Mick Harfords of the world and the Billy Whitehurst of the world, and yeah. Harry Horlocks of the world. I mean, amazing players, but wouldn't last five minutes. I mean, I love them all, don't get me wrong, just in case they're watching, but probably <laughs> wouldn't last five minutes in today's game. Yeah. Um, obligatory percentage question for Don. Percentage chance that Inter doesn't win at the Scudetto this season? Doesn't? Yes. Uh, I'm going to go 30. I think 70-30 in their favour. I think they've got the best manager. I think they've got the best squad. Um, their starting 11 is, I think, stronger than anyone else. I don't see Juve keeping this up. I don't think Milan will get close, even though their form is not bad. Inter are the type of team they could go unbeaten. I think the last time I checked, we were unbeaten in about 16 or 17 games. So 
I think it's Inter. Firm favourites. What a brilliant question this is. If you participated in an episode of Mastermind, what would be your specialist subjects? This is a, a quiz back in England. You could choose anything, basically, oh. to, mm. to focus on. You have to be... Quite... Could you do, like, Liverpool... No. No? When you were playing? No. For only Fools and Horses? Only Fools and Horses. It's not mm. bad. You've seen a lot of those yeah, episodes. Could, uh, yeah. yeah. YouTube. Thank you, Daniel. You're right. Yeah. Oh, no, no. yeah, absolutely. Only Fools and Horses. Only Fools and Horses? I mean, I... this is an old sitcom in the 80s, 90s, back in England. I mean, basically, I go to sleep at night with Only Fools and Horses on. There you go. So it's like you've, you've been born for this moment. <laughs> So, yeah, so thank, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, that would absolutely. Yeah. Only fools and horses, no danger. Shaka, what about you? I don't know. Might be a math thing. A math thing? Yeah. Yeah, what sort of math? Just in general? I don't know. A <laughs> long <just> division? <laughs> <laughs> multiplication <laughs> of, of small numbers. Multiplication tables. Multiplication of <laughs> numbers. Five times five, 25. <laughs> uh, John, I don't even know where we would start with you. <laughs> Uh, Do you know what, Dan? I mean, I'd, I'd be with Stevie for Only Fools and Horses because I obviously work on football. I come in, I can't be bothered with box sets. I don't want to get involved in them. Yeah. Makes too much. So I like background noise and I like things that I've seen before. Okay. For Only Fools. But if you push me to be different, a movie that I've seen, I reckon, about a couple of hundred times, and I'd quite fancy myself yeah. to recite any sort of line in it would be Dumb and Dumber. Would be what, sorry, Don? Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Well, there we I've are. I've seen it a million times, so I reckon if you give me a line... Yes. I reckon I could finish it. Perfect. So there's a chance, Don. Perfect. Right, then. Oddly, oddly fitting. Yes, yes, I, I believe so, Shaka, indeed. <laughs> seven sevens. <laughs> 49. Yes, come on. <laughs> I told you that story with two apprentices at Sheffield Wednesday, I think. No, you didn't, Steve, I don't think. So, Christmas party... 1997. No story Sheffield, starts well with Christmas Wednesday, party. Sheffield Wednesday, and I'm sat there at a table, so probably with 10 people at the table, and there's two young apprentices in the table. Okay. And I don't know how it came around, but we started calling them dumb and dumber. Mm -hmm. And they ended up arguing with each other. Because <laughs> one was saying, no, you're dumb. No, I'm dumb and you're dumber. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sitting and arguing with each other. <laughs> who was dumb and who was dumber? <laughs> I was sitting there with a pipe watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> no, no, you're dumber, I'm dumb. Don, why have you never considered going into coaching? Um, I sort of did, but it, I, I did for a little while when I first sort of retired. I loved coaching kids. I, li I like the way they sort of take the information on and I like sort of working with them and watching them get better. I think it's an amazing side. I've never really fancied the first team element. Basically, I'll tell you the honest reason. I didn't want to go back to school, Dan. Right. When I was in school, I spent my whole time looking out the window, watching the lads playing rounders or the girls playing rounders. And I was just, I was just, all I loved was doing sport. And I had no time for school. Um, I had no patience. And to get to the very top, if you want to go into coaching, you've got to go back to school. You've got to do your badges, your, your B license, your A license, your pro license. It's quite a few years, even though you can get fast tracked. I would have just been no good going oh. back to school. Oh. Out on the grass, I'd be fine. But going back to school, I spoke to Jody Morris. Um, not long ago uh, when he was at Chelsea and he said to me, he said, the amount of hours you've got to do on your laptop before you even get out in the grass in the mornings, you know, before you even start coaching is hours and hours and then it's, you take the session and then you've got to analyse how the session oh, went God. and the individuals... Listening about it is boring me enough, again. let alone doing it, Dom. Exactly. <laughs> Crikey. Exactly. <laughs> Blimey heck. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering that what is. Rounders is, it's a game that we played in England, which is just like, we couldn't afford a proper baseball bat, so here's a tiny right. stick to try and hit a ball. And well, a stick. I don't think we use a stick playing Rounders in Trinidad. Well, what did you use? What did you use? Your hand, with your hand. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh there you I go. Remember no, no, it'd be a little tiny, it'd be a tiny little stick. No, I think we just whacked it with our hands. Just whacked it with your hand, eh? Yeah. You've got big hands, you're good at that, Shane. We don't need no stick. There you go. Four fours. Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> With Mbappe moving to Madrid, you didn't chip in on this, Don, during the show. What would you like PSG to do going forward? Try and sign a star player like Ibra, Neymar, etc., as they've done in the past, or invest in some no. younger talent with upside? Younger talent. I think they've gone down that route now. They've gone the sort of Galactico route. It didn't work. I think now, I think the young players that they've got add to that, make them 
a sort of solid team. They might have to take a couple of steps backwards to go forwards. Um, but I think that way than just investing silly money into players that are not good enough or not fit enough. Don, percentage chance, all three newly promoted teams go back down. So who's that? Forest, Burnley, Sheffield United? Well, two of them have gone. Yep. Two of them have gone for sure, 100% oh, no, there. Yeah, sorry. Gone. All right, Chad. Uh, yeah, so two of them have gone. <laughs> Uh, Burnley, 100% gone. Sheffield United, 100% gone. Uh, look, I like Luton because I like what they stand for, Dan. In terms of Nick Harford told everyone who's sort of at board level now, he said, we're going to do it our way. We're not going to try and be a Premier League side in terms of playing through the thirds and inverted fullbacks. We're going to launch it. We're going to try and play. I give them a chance. So... I reckon the percentage chance of all three going, 40%. 40%. There we are. Got there. Did Kaysena make a mistake choosing Chelsea, Stephen? Yep. Yeah. 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 Say that about everyone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think, I think all, most of the mistakes are on the side of Chelsea, picking the players they did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, Stevie, with Van Dijk and Salah being around 33, 34 when their contract expires in 18 months, would it be the right decision to let them go either in the summer or at the end of their deal and focus on Trent's new contract that also expires in 18 months? No. No. Who's your priority, Van Dijk or Salah? Cool. Listen, I guess, I guess you have to say that scoring goals will always be the most important thing in football. Mm -hmm. It's why we play the game, it's why we love it. So I would I would suggest... Oh, God. The problem is Van Dijk's a huge part of it. Mm. You've done all right with that, Salah. See, right? so here's the thing. Here's the, here's the other odd thing with Trent, right? Depending on who comes in, it seems inconceivable that you don't play Trent. Right. But what if the guy comes in who wants a right back that defends? Yeah. Oh, guess what? They've got a right back that defends. And a guy who actually can get forward and create and score goals as well in young Connor Bradley. Mm -hmm. So where do you play Trent? Well, yeah. Trent, Trent, that's... Because that's all it takes. It takes them to sign a Jose Mourinho that Spurs dead and Conte and... Trent, where does Trent Alexander end up? What does he do? Uh -huh. Where does he play? Does he play? Do you sell him? Oh, so many questions. What so many questions. questions. So few answers. answers. <laughs> so few answers. No answers. <laughs> I think on that point, we'll say goodbye. Well, Thank well, you very much. Uh, Dan, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, well, how's, how, how do you enjoy the Barcelona game? Good. It was good? Yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah. bit, bit slow first <laughs> it, it, was, was, it was, it was. It's all right. Thank you very much. I was telling Stevie about how... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I tell you what, that? <laughs> I tell you what, that's what a night out in New York. Hey. Yeah. Oh, so uh, what a, what a, what a, seriously, how are you? What a flattering you picture. So comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How do you wow. fall? Wow. How do you fall asleep in your early forties? In the middle of the afternoon. I, 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 I don't know. I don't Chuck know. Slop, don't I, start. I do not know, Stephen. You never see me doing that. Never. Chuck never see me doing Chuck that. Is the king of a nap. <laughs> never hear that. That's it. Never uh, want to hear another word from you. Thank Daniel. you very much. We've, we've been a long day, Shaq, isn't it? It has been a very long day. Yeah, exactly. But well, at least you're well rested. Well, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Out tonight now. Uh, ESPN FC <laughs> is back tomorrow. Brilliant day of football. Liverpool, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid.